Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallen Sandwich Gaming with episode 17 of, uh, our MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Let's Play. Uh, we're continuing on from where we left off last episode. Now here's what I want to see, um, okay, so, I do think I want to take the same group in. Well, this part of Clinton 2 isn't the most hospitable. We found some germanium deposits. How Steiner Big Wigs want it for making KF drives for the jump ships. Apparently they're all off fighting some glorious war somewhere else, so we've had to hire you. Keep this place safe and we'll keep it flush with sea bills. Okay, so that should be doable. I forgot to do the repairs off screen. Um, which, you know, sometimes, sometimes we do that. Oh, that's right. These are back-to-back -back missions. Um, let me just take a look. In eight days. So I don't think we'll actually be able to bring any of these. Let's take a look. So that's 15 days. So that's going to be out. This is five, so he'll make the cut. 17, so he's out. And, oh, yeah, this is the big one. So, okay, luckily it looks like it was just an ammo explosion that took out the legs. But, yeah, definitely not ideal. So, it looks like the victor is going to be the only one eligible. Oh, no, it actually says the victor's work order won't be complete either. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to re-gear completely. Um, so let's go into the assault category and see what we have available. This is a defense, so probably best we bring something with ranged abilities. So let's go stalker. Probably both stalkers. Because I don't really think we need to be fast as much as we need to be, um, you know, just able to compete at range. And then we can look at a couple of heavies here. So, uh, the Black Knight's okay. Cataphract's really not ideal. Um, yeah, I mean, hold on. Let's see. We're at 170. So if I throw in... If I cancel the work order on the victor, it really barely took any damage. Could be useful. Could also bring the RS. Yeah, actually, the RS might be the way to go. And then it's another... Oh, math. I don't think we're getting a ton of weight to work with here. Let's see... Uh, let's see about the new Shadowhawk. Okay, even that puts us over. So that's a 55. So we'd only be able to bring a 45, which is the Blackjack. I don't know if that's really the best way to go about this. Because, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're super top-heavy if we do that. Though the AC-2s would be good for taking down flyers. No, I think we're, we're probably more looking in the realm of bringing Black Knight Cataphract at that point. Yeah, that brings us flush at 315. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. It's a defense, so hopefully we can put up a good fight on this one and uh, not have too many issues. That's definitely the ideal outcome. Let's check the weapon groups real quick. Everything on one, two, three, and then alarms on four. That's perfect. Okay, so we do have some help in the form of a blackjack and a thunderbolt. Alright, 22 enemies expected. Pat. I don't... He must be on the other side of that hill still. I'm actually surprised we even have sight on them. The on the 
Oh! We have a serious issue now. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Oh man. This is the problem with the stalker. You better get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. All right, that's one down. That's two down. Oh, uh, it's this is not how you want to start this off. All right, well. We're down some of our ordnance already, which is not good. But luckily the base didn't take all that much damage. Um, and we still have our LRM. Which is good. Good news. Well, uh, we did say we wanted to encounter some more rivals, right? Guess we got our wish. There's another dropship coming in right there. Okay, we gotta be real careful how we go about this now. Um, okay. Let's focus down the 1A1. Because we know we can. fact they should be able to get him down before he even gets into range would be preferable all right he's down that's the new problem Okay, that's down. That's another problem. Not to mention our heat issues. All right, we need to regroup. Uh, in fact, we still have a lot to go. I think I think I need to take over something else here. Give myself a chance. Because otherwise, we're going to end up dead. All right, that scorpion tank is probably what's stopping the next wave from coming in. So, in fact, what I want to do, go F4, Let's hang out over there. That guy's not going to be 
That stalker forehand is not going to be useful in the upcoming fight. And uh, it's in our best interest we just keep it out of the way as much as possible. That yeah, that, that archer coming in definitely was not the kind of news we wanted to receive. That, uh, sorry, that, that rival mercenary group, that really, really did a number on us. Centurion, another Centurion, um, we're closer to that one, so, put those two on that one. And then I need to go and take care of that. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. Okay, I am technically two on one with the Centurion, so let's just hope for the best. Keep them in front of me and keep them close. That's a massive problem, but I guess we'll let the, the group fall back in first. Okay, it's taken care of. I need to know, get over here and deal with all this now. Okay, the Thunderbolt. Okay, that's its main gun down. Not like it changes much. Thunderbolts can actually carry a solid amount of firepower. Alright. Okay, that's down as well. Of course, there's another Black Knight over there. But. I think I agree with the guys. We can focus down this Black Knight. Uh, this awesome. Yep. Alright, it's down. It's down. Somebody's almost taken the head off this Black Knight. I th think I finished him. That's good news. We've got four enemies left. Okay, Phoenix Hawk is not really worrying at all. 
And then what's that? Okay. You guys go get the Phoenix. And I'll go get the Jenner. And what's that? That's another Phoenix Hawk. Okay. I can go get the Jenner. Oh. It's not what we want to do. Alright. Jenner's down. Phoenix Hawk next. Okay. He's gonna eject. Go get that. Come on. Just come around the side of the building again. Alright, he's down. What are you still doing here? You're supposed to eject. Yeah. Like him. All right, so we managed to get out of there without losing a mech. We actually didn't even take that much damage on the Cataphract and the Black Knight. Obviously, uh, contending with that mercenary unit that dropped in was a really unpleasant and unexpected surprise. Uh, but hey, I mean, we came out on top, so I guess I can't really complain too much. And we're on Intel level 2. Interesting. So, what do we get for that? Nothing? Looks like nothing. Um, yeah, I can't even really begin to think where, uh, what we're gonna do on the, uh, the next mission because obviously we're in a bit of trouble here <laughs> um no i think i think we take the large laser let's take both large lasers yeah 1700 damage dealt that was across two separate mechs uh stalker 4 and kind of just got out of there which you don't love to see but We've just received an unsolicited delivery of high-grade weapons with no message beyond a sea bill symbol. Commander, I have to ask, have you been in contact with someone claiming to be the Bounty Hunter? Tread carefully with that individual. The real Bounty Hunter is a living boogeyman among the mercenary community. They've built a reputation of hunting and cashing in some of the highest-value bounties on criminals, politicians, nobles, and mech warriors throughout the Innisfere for over 100 years. All of their marks brought in dead. Provided this hunter is the real deal and not some hotshot imitator, this is not a person you would ever want to cross unless you have a death wish. I will admit, your father did have feeling, dealings with someone claiming to be the hunter. While I don't know how he initially came into contact with them, your father was always of the opinion that as long as he kept himself useful to the hunter, he would not find himself on the wrong end of their mech's PPC barrels. So be careful, Commander, whether this hunter is the real deal or a copycat, that faceless merc, and the reputation that comes with them is dangerous. <clears throat> okay, so some machine guns, some medium lasers, SRM-6, and uh, just some stuff. Blood-packed light. What is that? <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, okay, so clear the log jam. So let's see what this is. You've been seizing goods that pass through Clinton too. Many of the luxury goods go missing and food products spoil before they can be sold. Our merchants have had enough and would like to put a stop to this charade by eliminating these corrupt officials. Oh good, we get another negotiation point. Um, okay, so obviously the 4N can't come. Neither can the 1X. Let's just clear the board. Let's just have a look here. Now, has anything actually repaired? 
So the victor's back, which is good news. Um, yeah, so I think we're at the point where it doesn't really matter too much. Let me see what this, what kind of mission this is. Eliminating these corrupt officials. Assassination. Okay. So, assassination. That should make the job fairly easy. It's going to be... Maybe the Gauss Atlas? Is it time? I think it's time for the Gauss Atlas. And then... Probably go... Awesome... Here? Yeah, awesome here. And then... The Victor here? Yeah, that's probably fine. And then... What do I have to work with still? So, about 75. Which I should be able to do. Uh, everything in that weight class is still damaged. So... A dragon. It's not like the best, but... It's kind of what I got right now. Could also go Crusader. I haven't brought one of those out to play in a while. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's actually over. Duh. Um, so that's over too. Okay. So I actually need a, a 55. Which is just the Wolverine or the Shadowhawk. Um, I think I'd rather the Wolverine over the Shadowhawk. The Shadowhawk's got better firepower. Same speed. Better max range. Slightly less armor. Alright, let's bring the Shadowhawk. Uh, maybe not Bouchard, though. Ah, you know what it is, what it is. It is what it is. Um, let me just do this real quick. Alright. That's the squad. So, once again, into the great unknown, and just hope for the best. All right, so let's take a look at the weapon groups real quick. That is correct, 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 correct. Okay. Given our employer nothing but problems, we have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. All right, just gotta hope that Merc company doesn't show up again, because that would be real bad for us. Then again, we're definitely in mechs that are better at killing mechs at this point. I mean, the Shadowhawk's obviously a little bit of a handicap, but we are making do. So I'm wondering... If we go straight line this way... Yeah, maybe that's... Now, let's check this out first. I doubt our target's here, but if it is, then it could be a chance to get in and out quick. So. Yeah. Man, that Gauss rifle sure does put the work in. You don't say. Come on. Okay, he's down. Oh, he's right there. It would help if I could see him. Alright, that's what I figured. Um, we didn't take too much damage. Probably that rifleman got some good shots off, but... 
I think I got my eyes on him a little too late. He's probably trying a little too hard to headshot him too. It's uh, very difficult to hit the cockpit on a rifleman, so should have just focused on getting weapons down. But hey, you know, that's part of the fun of it. You live and you learn. The gauss feels real, real good though. <laughs> I will say that. Okay, before we even trigger the defenses here, let's just continue towards our objective. This is another huge map, so it might take us a little while to get around, but we will get around. This is a huge map with a ton of little bottlenecks and stuff. Alright, so we're going to swing to the right all the way if we can. So, let's try to use care in this one. Just gonna clunk our way there if we have to. Yeah, so the open ground here, not necessarily a welcome sight. Okay. Definitely don't want to miss with the Gauss rifle. But love to see that. Alright, that's down. It's down. Come on. Is that a miss? Alright. <laughs> so, the Gauss velocity is, uh, gotta get the timing down on it, but, like I said, it feels pretty good so far. And, uh, obviously, you know, if you can get kind of the sight line where they're not right up in your face right away then you're gonna be totally fine because it's got really good range and it very little drop on the round because you'll find like when you're using something like an auto cannon there's a ton of uh, bullet drop on it yeah I'm trying to decide I don't think I want to get bottled into these smaller spaces. So it might be best to go out the top side and then circle around. Because if I go up that way, that might be a little bit of a shortcut. It is tight, but we'll try to take it nice and easy through here. Yeah, Gauss Rifle Atlas, uh, no regrets so far. Then again, if uh, that right chest goes, then we might be sad, because I think that's where the rifle is, so. Uh, 
We'll have to try to shield with our left side as much as possible in the upcoming fights. I think it's just so, like, uh, being right-handed, it, it's so um, ingrained in my mind to circle left and show them my right side. And that's definitely not what we want to be doing, you know? Try not to worry about it too much, huh? It's a single harasser, you know? Alright. So the only thing here, really, is that we're gonna be fighting uphill. It's, uh... Yeah, there's no way to really, like, gauge elevation. So, that would be neat, though, if they put, like, the grid marks on, so you can kind of tell, like, am I going uphill or downhill against this enemy? Because trekking uphill towards the target is probably not what you want to be doing. And again, I mean, it kind of shields you from sight, but also, you're not going to get the best shots... I don't know, there's pros and cons to both, but I definitely prefer attacking downhill over uphill. Because we know the target's here. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? I just sort of instinctively circle left. Spin around. So now we're showing them our left side, which is what we want to be doing. For sure. Get it out of here. Whoa, a champion? I actually really like champions. Just seems like every time I run into one, I'm already beyond it. There we go. Okay. Still got our target. And he's getting back up right now. Of course. Come on. Is he using jump jets? It's an interesting stylistic choice for an archer. Alright, he's down. So, let's try to get out of here. Where's the evac? On the other side of the enemy, of course. I hit him? Uh, maybe just a partial. Maybe I skimmed him a bit. Alright. 
Let's form up. Try to pull on out of here. Honestly, I feel like it went pretty well so far. Anything could happen still, but we definitely don't want to get caught up uh, fighting the scraps here. Here we go. Managed to clear the board. Somehow the awesome didn't take any damage, it looks like. Shadowhawks had a little little something. Yeah, the awesome is back there just looking good, feeling good. Alright. Cool, cool. I mean we used our LRM a fair bit in there before we ran out of ammo, so I really don't feel like that needs an adjustment. Um Yeah. I would say Gauss Atlas test drive, overwhelming success. Very, very happy with the performance. And we are hitting the road. I love a quick evac. No point sticking around. Just go straight to black screen. Okay. And again, made some made some decent money. Awesome 8V. It's an interesting one. Another 2R. See, I would love to get like a decent rifleman in. I honestly wouldn't even mind a, one of the champion variants either, but it's just about the timing, really. Uh, I definitely don't want to run low on PPCs, but let's just have a quick peek. Uh, there's a bunch of small lasers here we're probably going to take. Because I do have a mission for them. Yeah, let's just take those. Call it a day. Yeah, I mean... Look at that, more than the rest of the lance combined. 20 total kills. That's really good performance. So, so we get some large pulse lasers, or a large pulse laser, or a single large pulse laser. Gotta love that. But an additional $2 million, so C bills. And then, of course, collect uh, tier 5 lasers for some SRM 6s. SRM 6s. Um. I've been trying to figure out where you can go to uh, to find this bounty hunter progress, and I can't quite figure it out. Faction standings, objective logs. Yeah, if anybody knows, oh, is it here? Oh, here. Q view bounty hunter details. Okay, so. We're up to level two with rough with. Oh, it's just a. Is it just a general level two? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's our next <laughs> gift is a fire starter. Uh, all right. I mean, a little bit beyond the fire starter, but that's cool. Bunch of stuff to check out still. All right. Um, cool. So we. Interesting. I love cowboys like Hanson's Rough Riders. So much pride in their work and so much enthusiasm. Throwing themselves right in the thick of combat makes it so much easier for someone like me to arrange the battlefield. Accidents. Arrange battlefield accidents to happen should they ever cross me. While their tenacity is commendable, when you are so, as reckless as they are, eventually your luck will run out. When it does, those hollow vid teams that have boosted their ego up all these years will chomp even harder at the bit to document every detail of their fall. That eventually happens. That will be the true test of the Rough Riders' character. In one way or another, I will enjoy watching that show unfold. Who knows, maybe I'll wrap it into those sh schlocky and laughably inaccurate holodramas that they make about me. Huh. So this just says to review the message. Oh, is that what we just did? It's just re review the message. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, so I'm probably going to end the episode here, guys. But if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel out a ton. I'm just going to bounce out and do repairs, and then uh, we're going to look into doing maybe another transmission mission, maybe do a little bit of shopping, because now we've got a decent chunk of change in the bank. We're probably going to drop some stuff into storage I just don't see us using. 
Um, but either way, thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.